And at ZTV 11 Sports Report with Bob Labby. But before, hey, you, get, before you get cranky, let me All read right. something here. Gloria handed me. Very important, I guess. We all know how painful that can be. Eastside Band Boosters are having their annual beauty contest this Saturday. Woo! Saturday, Saturday. The event starts at 5 and we held in the East Limestone Center for Performing Arts. That means the gym. Everyone is welcome and all <laughs> proceeds go to the Booster Club to help with the operation cost of the school's band who does a great job out that way. If you've got any announcements like this one you'd like us to share with our two or three viewers each and every morning, email my assistant at ZTV at JamieCooper.com or text her right now at 603-4848. Hey, Miss California. each every time. Miss California going to be there? Wish she was here. Uh, <laughs> we're talking about starting our own pageant. She could be your new assistant. Yeah. Hey, that, that, she could that, be my assistant. That thing has been blown so totally out of proportion. <laughs> it's not. Now, the former Miss USA who's on the panel uh, yeah. says she's resigning she because of model. Donald Trump's decision yeah. to let Miss California retain her title. What did she do that was so bad? Can you explain she that to me? She admitted the truth that she does not believe that gay people should be able to marry one but another. But that's her opinion, so what's wrong with that? It's what's in the Bible, Bobby. Well, I know that, but I'm saying it's her opinion. And, and when well, they it ask, is her opinion, as it is mine, Well, I know, as but, it is management of this program. I understand, but my point is it's an opinion. So well, yeah, if, it's they, opinion. If, they, if they asked another girl, hey, what color is the sky, and the girl's colorblind, she's going to say it's yeah. It's an opinion. So, hey. so anyway. I just don't believe they should get married. I just don't think that's right. Well, I'm saying from the... They okay, asked her what's a question, your thought she, on that? I'm asking you. She... Uh, the, no, they asked her I'm a question. You. She gave her an answer. I'm asking your government employee. I'm asking I'm you. I'm not a government employee. <laughs> I'm asking your opinion. Do you think it's right? I mean, and well, I, I think know several gay people, and they're, they're great folks. However, should they be able to get married to one another? If they want to, that's their business. I think as society as a whole, the way you and I were brought up, it's, it's not the right thing. But I, there again, I say that it's their business, not mine. Well, I hope they don't do it in Alabama. <laughs> we got enough problems. <laughs> yeah, right here with this TV that's station. Right. And we're <laughs> waiting on football season to start, where once again, the mighty tide will be number one. I think so. At least in your what mind. What I do with my finger? Oh, there it is over there. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and get to the sports report if we can. We'll start off with some high school softball. The state playoffs begin today. Ardmore, Huntsville, Sparkman, Speak, West Morgan, Albertville, and Hartsell all in running for a state championship in girls softball. Now, high school baseball, the plus state playoffs continue today. Of course, we mentioned earlier how Athens State, um, Athens Bible rather, lost its bid for the losing twice to Brantley High School. Hartsell lost its first game, but they play again today at 4 o'clock, and that's the best out of two out of three games, so Hartsell's still in it. Madison Academy plays their first game today at 4 o'clock, and then they'll play their second game tomorrow at 10 a.m. All these games taking place down in Montgomery. All right, hi. Before you go on, you're still yeah. talking about softball? You know, one more. Th yeah, go ahead, softball. Uh, I was going to talk about this girl at UAH, uh, uh, Whitney Wonderful. Hawkins. Yeah. She played at Athens High School. Mm. She is 17-0 and o pitching this year. So she must be I don't think really you can get a hit off her. Ooh, I, you know, I got one old band of Thompson out front. We all remember that. It was not a foul. It was a legitimate hit. He struck if out on three. He, it won't he, be the first time I've He struck out. out on three pitches, then he fouled I the fourth pitch. I did not strike out. We have video to prove. The fourth pitch you hit no. as a foul. All right, let's go back to it. High school tennis. State champions number one in the state, Dan Richardson as the number one player for Randolph State champion. And i got to mention Anthony, Anthony Liosi out of Randolph, number two player. He, too, was state champion. So congratulations to those two players from Randolph. High school soccer, of course, the state tournament played in Huntsville over the weekend. Huntsville, by the way, congratulations. Another superb job on hosting the state tournament. Randolph girls, the only local team to win a state championship, but that's pretty darn good. We've got one champion right here in North Alabama. So that you spill that coffee and it goes down your britches, you are going to be <laughs> crying. I ruined a Any brand casting. new pair of pants. <laughs> Southeastern Conference basketball. You know, I thought we were down quite a lot this year. We were. But they set a new attendance record in the how. country last season. 2.6 million fans went out to see Southeastern Conference basketball games. Kentucky, by the way, led the nation 
with over 22,000 people per game. So that's pretty impressive. Tennessee was fourth. John Stallworth Celebrity Golf Tournament coming up Friday, June 19th. You can register now. It's a you four person. It? No, I'm not in it this year. You can sign up now. It's a four player scramble. Do so at johnstallworth.com. It's got all the information. Hey, let's go John. back to basketball for a moment. You sure. see what they're doing? And Alabama's trying to start a new rule in high school basketball. What's that? That if a f player gets hurt, his time to shoot a foul, and he was foul late in the game or whatever. You know how this goes. If a player, they always, coach will get his 85% free throw shooter, take this guy's place. Right. Well, they're about to change that. Nowadays, according to this, if you fake an injury, which a lot of people do, the opposing coach will pick one of the four other players <laughs> to shoot the foul shots. Oh, oh, I don't Due know if I like players that. faking Injury, and I'll tell you a quick story. You remember Eddie Frost, the yeah. former mayor, the great yeah. friend of mine, Gloria's, and passed away of leukemia many years ago. He was a renowned basketball coach. Yeah, Then he was in a playoff game once, and his worst player was on the court. Everybody else had fouled out. Down to like one, sh behind like one point or tied or something, and the guy gets fouled. Eddie runs out there and says, stay down, stay down, <laughs> stay down. <laughs> and he gets his other shooter in to get it, so they oh. win the game. I don't, but because of that, they're I don't particularly like the idea of another team determining a playing situation. In other words, let's just say Alabama and Auburn playing football gets down to the last play of the game. You allow Auburn to pick the play. I, I just well, I don't like. Happen. Well, I'm just saying. It, it's football same, basketball. It's totally different. same scenario. You should not oh, allow man. another team to determine who plays for a particular team. That's well, wrong. he's faking an injury. Well. There's, there's ways around that, but you don't allow one team. Don't forget, to, you're an official. You just don't do that. Would you like another TV personality to come here and tell you what to do? We'll probably use some experience, yeah. <laughs> but there ain't nobody. All right, so, uh, all there right, is nobody right. any better. So what are we doing? Well, here about? we go. TV personality coming in here telling you what to do. Shut up. This Basically, is my segment. I'm waiting on Glenn Beck to give me a call any day now. Well, get you better fill in for him. I wouldn't hold your breath if I were you. <laughs> That's right. All right, let's get back to the sports. Tennessee Valley Vi Vipers return home this Saturday at the Vaughn Brown Center. Their kickoff is set for 7.30. Their Vipers Golf Classic now is set for next Friday. That's May 22nd out at Sunset Landing. You can sign up now. It's lots of fun. goes to a great cause. Once again, the Tennessee Valley Vipers football team, their golf classic next week. Major League Baseball. 41 players from the Southeastern Conference are in the majors this season. LSU leads all those teams in SEC with eight former players in the show. So congratulations to them. And finally, Huntsville Stars. Now, they're at home tonight and Friday night. Then they hit the road just in time for the rain. They hit the road, but the – How's it We haven't heard squat from them this year. Well, I haven't either. Much fun. Oh, well, there you go. Well, it's beginning. They see, now, they are in first place or tied for first place. Is anybody division, going to so. the games? Well, yeah, but it's too early in the year. Too early. And once the school gets out, boom, the well, play, place will be filled. Every night. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, okay, getting you. back to the stars, their summer camp is scheduled for June 1st through the 3rd at Joe Davis Stadium. This is for youngsters ages 6 through 14, boys and girls. It costs $100. You can call the Huntsville Stars to get all the details all right. about their summer Let camp. Let me ask you a horse racing question, Bobby. <laughs> you know, they got that filly, Rachel Alexander. She's a Preakness favorite, 8 yep. to 5 favorite. Yep. And the jockey who rode uh, Mind That Bird is going to be on her now. That's good. I don't know who they're going to get to ride the other one. I may go for it. Well, yeah. you, you're a little smaller. You can do it. Bobby, when was I'm the last time smaller. a Philly won the Preakness? Yeah, I can't answer that. 1924. Really? The last Philly. That's right. Wow. To win. Uh, that way. She's the favorite in this deal. There you go. I just want to throw that in. Did you hear about how Big Mouth Lane Kiffin is in trouble again? No. Tell us about Oh, that Florida high school has banned all it. UT coaches. What is that? Pahokee? Anyway, they said that Kiffin's insult down there where he said that it's just a, that the kids there all go right to Florida, and that was an insult, they say, because it's not that way. They have banned all coaches from being on their campus. Really? Until Big Mouth apologizes <laughs> to the principal down that way. Hell, oh, man. That, he has just set the place on fire, hasn't and he, with some speaking, of his comments? Speaking of big, you ever heard of Sammy Hill? Here's a picture of old Sammy at his high school stadium with his parents. That's, of course, Sammy in the middle right there. Uh, he was drafted in the fourth round <laughs> of the NFL funny. by the Detroit Lions. Well, when he was in high school, he was deemed too big to carry the football. From tiny West Blockton, Alabama, he 
grew into a Division II star. Now he's a fourth-round pick. That's a big dude. How big is he? Big. How big is big? big? Does it say? Uh, Why don't you look it up while six, I make a comment? 6'4", 330 pounds. That's big. That's right. That's about as big as my neighbor, Walter Jones, you know, the Seattle Seahawks. Oh, he'll, he'll he's a big fella. That picture looks funny. <laughs> That's a weird-looking photo right there. He's a big dude. Show That's that picture I... again, Kyle, can you? Can you pull it back up? Are you giving Thank orders here you. now, Thank too? You. Yeah. Well, you said you wanted a TV personality here and tell you what to That's do. That's right, a TV personality. Oh, <laughs> I'm a TV expert <laughs> in management. You're an ex. I'm a, <laughs> You're a TV ex. I'm a TV manager. Anyway, that picture just kind of looks kind of funny. You're a 